some of these big fabricators are not even giving the opportunity to even bid on these projects because there's always a concern about the shallowness of the Port of Iberia. The Port of Iberia is expecting to bring in new jobs after dredging at the port is completed. That dredging is expected to begin late next month. Now the work is part of a larger expansion project at the port. In September, the port purchased 146 acres of property. Officials will use 40 acres of that land to dig a new canal to improve access. Right now, the focus is on making an existing canal two feet deeper. It's a move they hope will attract new businesses and around 1,000 jobs to the port. This is where our Katie Easter picks up the story. Katie. Port officials say they've lost a number of bids from energy and construction company because the canals aren't deep enough. That's a problem they'll soon fix. Port of Iberia has been successful and the legislative delegation, Iberia Parish, has been very successful over the last 10, 15 years securing capital outlay money, money that the state of Louisiana earmarks for local governments for ne needed projects. The Port of Iberia has been planning on dredging the canal for more than a decade. Port Director Cray Romero says making the canal deeper will help bring more projects to the port, projects they're now losing to other ports like Seattle and Houma. Currently, some of these big fabricators are not even giving the opportunity to even bid on these projects because there's always a concern about the shallowness of the Port of Iberia. Companies already at the port, like Dynamic Industries, are excited for the dredging to begin. Fortunately for Dynamic, we, we have multiple facilities uh, in other areas of the state that allow us to uh, facilitate those projects. However, in order to keep the work here in New Iberia, we believe that it's very important that we get this waterway uh, dredged and get the deep, the deep waterway out to the Intracoast Canal. In addition to keeping existing jobs at the port, Bork and Romero say dredging will allow his company and others to hire even more workers. Uh, the bigger projects, which take more manpower and obviously add to some of the workforce that we would have in New Iberia. The sky is the limit when it comes to fabrication. You just have to repurpose your yard and go after work other than just go for Mexico projects. Romero says the first step is to lower five pipelines. From there, they'll begin immediately. In Iberia Parish, Katie Easter, KTC TV3. Vermillion Parish.